Welcome back to the channel. Me and Cotton are on the way to look at some cool stuff. We just wrapped an episode of Faster with Ebert and Cotton out here in California in the Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm. It was pretty freaking rad. Real so rad. Now we met some guys that were out there with us. They have a lot full of cool cars and trucks that we're going to go see right now. And uh, After that, we're going to a place tomorrow, which is Saturday, to look at some more hot rods. We found a lot on the way over here that was packed full of all sorts of cars. Uh, Volkswagen buses, vans, lifted vans, tri-fives, Corvette, Corvettes with blowers on them. Tube chassis Camaros. Tube chassis Camaros. I mean, anything you could think of, there was, it was in this lot. So we're gonna go there tomorrow and check that out. But right now we're about to pull in the, see, I don't know what, I don't know what all's over here. He said he's got a bunch of cool stuff, come look at it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just cruising through the desert right now, looking at all sorts of stuff, because every other house out here seems to have some type of old car or truck hidden in it somehow. And uh, we've stopped about half a dozen times in the past 10 miles, yeah. just looking at cars. So check it out. And say hello, Cotton. Hello, Cotton. There's Impella wagons. There's a 64 right there. 64, baby. Now, what is this down here? Like, oh gosh. Oh, never mind. What? Okay, wrong road. What do you mean? Let's stop right here. Look let's go in here. Look at that, baby. Let's go. Look at that, baby, right let's there. Just, let's just park and go look. Let's go. Park right here. Let's just go look. All right, well, there was a couple of things for sale. Um, this 63 wagon is for sale. He wants 10 racks for that, which, I'm assuming, which I'm assuming is 10 grand. I think so, the racks, unless he's like lives at Nordstrom or something. I don't I don't understand what a rack is, but I would probably say 10 grand. Okay, so if you want a 63 wagon, he said he's got every part to it, every piece that's missing, it's, he's got everything to the car. So if you're interested, uh, there's the... It's an SF car, it's 62. There's the tire shop. It's right outside of the Mojave Desert here. Mojave, 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 Mojave. Majavi. What? Majavi. Here's your... the here's the name of the shop if you're interested in the wagon. There's your info. There's, oh, right here. Here's the beautiful desert. Yeah, sure. Do it. Okay, we're going. Now, if we get down here and some sketchy stuff goes on, I'm out. be ready to dip. Because yep, they don't know. Yep. We might we might be carrying a bunch of racks. <laughs> we have to hold our to hold our shoes. Oh wait, is this the right road? I don't know, but it got me. Driving. I saw a tri five. This is all the area that you scream oh. tri five. Is it? Dude, I'm telling there you. There it is. It's right there. Look. Right where? See it. Ooh, over there. See yeah, it? My phone yeah, again. See it. What is it? I can't tell from here. It's a four door. It's not a four door, is it? Yeah. It's not a four door, that's a two door post. Is it? Yeah. All right, so park over here and just go ask if you I'm not, you ain't gonna get I'm me not, to go ask you, nothing. You're driving. I'm driving, I'm you, turning around. I'm not right. going in these places. Uh, it's closed anyway. It's back here. Darn it. Is there somebody over there? Look. Hey, just yell at them. Look. Ooh, there's more. The truck. Ooh, look at that, look. There's all kind of stuff in the backyard. I am not uh, turning around. Look, look, truck, truck cab. <sighs> Grand Prix. Nice truck cab. Oh, God. Yeah, I do got a train. Here's a Mustang. I do got a train hanging out in this wall. There's an old bus. No, an old bus. There's an old bus. There's an old 50s, early 50s Chevrolet truck over there. We'll yeah, stop okay. videoing. So nobody yeah. will spot me videoing. There's cool stuff everywhere. That's just a cafe. It's like a 36 Ford. All right, go ahead. That's just a cafe. Okay, a 36 or a 35. What do we got here? 35 Ford sitting there. A lot of cool place. That's the coolest thing about when you get out and you drive roads that you don't drive or you go areas you don't go. Places out here have so much stuff that's so cool compared to what we're used to. Yeah. And they don't rust. Yeah, there's if you look hard enough, there's a there's an old car buried somewhere. Kinda like.
four door Christie. Dude, there's all kind of cars in there. Go in there. There's a bunch over there. Let's go. Go where? It's open. It's open right there. It says close to the public. Damn it. <laughs> Gasser over there? It's not a gasser. It sure looks like it from here. We're supposed to take it right here. Yeah, this is a gasser. Three quarters of a mile. <laughs> what do you call this particular body style? Like, what do you call this? It's a Humvee. So that's an ambulance behind it. Yeah, that's the Humvee ambulances. This is cool. Does yours have the air on each tire that airs up and stuff like that? No, but they're pretty easy. To hook up? Yeah. So you. Run out, right? So you, you said these are air conditioned in the back, so like you could. That one has air conditioning. So this huh. one and that one are fully air conditioned. Hmm. In there. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, there's razor seats. You guys just give back from a run or something or what? Yeah. yeah. And then we use them for the for the TV shows as oh. transport. Yeah. You know. um, the front one is the up armored one. Um, this one is of course the ambulance. So there's another ambulance. This one needs the motor. Ooh, I like the green thing. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is more my style. This is sweet. The hell is wrong with this one? Nothing. This one is on airbags. Oh. So the airbags. I was like, either there's an axle bearing or something's happening with this. and got a lottery ticket. We're about to be at this car lot over here. Oh. Look at all these cars. We're going to decide if we're going to buy the whole car lot or just... <gasps> we did get a 58. We got a 58. What is that one? How much we win, bro? You got your money back. It's 40 right there. I just want 40 bucks? Yes, yeah, what's this? 58, 58, 40. Come on. Yeah. Keep going. We got this. We got this. I'm trying faster, Jesse. So you might, you might have won $7 million. Yeah, 46. Nope. We'll check back in to see how many cars we can buy. So far, we're just getting the gas money here is all we want. That is a nice square body. It says for sale. Cotton, what's your guess? 12 grand. 12 grand? It is a nice piece. Like I'm going to say 15. Oh, dude, look how... I bet you that thing is pretty stock, too. Mm -hmm. No, it's been painted. You going to see how much it is? If it has a tag on it. Go There's a thing on the windshield. I'm gonna go look. It may not have a price, but and I'm not calling it because then everybody think we're gonna buy it. But it's a nice truck, though. What if it only wants two grand for it? It wouldn't be sitting on his road. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go look and see if there's a price tag on it. I forgot what I said. I said oh, I said fifteen. He said twelve. I said fifteen. See how close we are. The interior is as nice as the outside. Really? It's twelve thousand dollars, guaranteed. We don't have a price, but it's nice. Like power what? windows, power locks. That thing's got it all. It's nice. Well, now I got to call because we can't not know. But you call. Right. I'm not calling because then you say, "Why don't you talk to them? Why don't we buy it?" And I'm not. No. It's nice. What if there's just people behind us? Good. All, right, all right, I'm going to call real quick. Okay. Call. Twelve grand. What do you want? What do you want? You said 12? I say 12. You said 15. Add 10 to yours. <laughs> Are you lying? No. But man, it is, 
I looked at it. It is a nice truck. He's asking twenty two. He said he'd. He said if we're serious, he'd take twenty. So, <laughs> if you're looking for a really nice long bed square body, eighty six model, it's right in front of um, this place. Uh, it's right there. It is nice though. I can vouch for it. It, it is a nice, but it ain't no interior, twenty thousand. The interior is like a brand new truck. It's that nice. So, there you go. Actually, you gotta raise the price of this one. You got that car about 40? Yeah, I think that's too cheap. That is. On that car, I remember this car. Is that a Catalina back there? Where is that? 65? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I love this car. I had a 65 Grand Prix. Actually, I wanted my buddies, he wouldn't give it to me. And so I went to, uh, to uh, Yeah. Damn. Yeah, we built the Lambo, we got a electrical kit for him. Fire, so we came back. Fuck. He just hit me up. It's been months here. And he already got it. fucking good. And the, uh, but the... <laughs> he hit me up like two, three days ago. He's a nice guy. I want to help him. As long as he pays me. He's got an LS in it, probably. LSX. Well, it's, that thing's bad. Nice and small. I love that. I mean, Dude, it looks cool. I, I see like the wheels either. on it. I just, well, this is the original one I wanted to build. I just wanted to flat black it, put a build motor on it, put like a build down blower or something. I just burned rubber everywhere. I had a big block I was going to pull out of a dually that I had, a Ram Vision, and just drop it all in. I have the bottle of the glass for it, but I'm missing Thunder back in so I don't remember. Yeah, you said you had a lot of parts for this thing for a light. That's you glass is what I remember. I have seats. But my street door handle, it's got a rag top. It's going to pull the changes, but I ain't seen it. <laughs> Looks like it's a manual valve. So. How wide are the tires? Let's get some 2915s. All right. Oh, it's on the ground. The hitch is on the ground. It's literally sinking into the asphalt. Just pops the rear in and spins on the hood. I have been working on everything. I had somebody break in December and stole a bunch of stuff. He drove, drove this out a couple years ago. Really? Threw the head gaskets and sit, sitting right in front of his house down below and uh, in front of a tree. He used to push it. And, uh, this guy's 70 something years old. He pushed his truck every week for This truck has zero rust, so if you're interested in it, Got a small block Chevy with blown head gaskets, but the truck is super, super solid. No rust. He'll take 16 grand for it. Very nice truck. That's what you need, Cotton. Escalade. I'm looking. Hold on. Look at the little van that's tubbed. Yeah. It looks cool. Damn, this is nice.
Here's a Volkswagen bus on tracks. Damn, that's sweet too. What the hell? This is very cool. This is pretty cool. This is really cool, dude. I mean, you're out in the middle of nowhere. There's cars here that are pretty freaking amazing. You would never expect, you know? Yeah, this is badass. Everything that's sitting here is, and everything has potential, or everything's got something really cool in it. And yeah. There's a good story behind everything that he's got here. He's, he's telling you that. But. If I had money, I'd buy it all. All right, Cotton, what have you settled on so far? Honestly, I want the van. That's actually a Dodge van. Yep. And I want the Baja Buggy. The in front of it? Yeah. Okay. I really do. I like, I like both of them. A, we just got done doing the one with the Baja, and I would build it to drive. Yeah. Like no big deal. The van, if we get it, you and I know what we're talking about. What we could do to that. I do like the idea of the '55. That '55. Yep. That's a tub back there. Yep. That'd be a killer deal for you too. There, there's so much stuff, and the, here's the craziest part is. There's so much stuff that we haven't even seen, bro. Yeah. Like, it's like you almost want to spend a whole day here, but you know he's so busy yeah. and all that. It's so he's a one-man operation. Yep. He doesn't want people in here because people are thieves and dishonest. And, 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 I, I, agree and I get that. With this place, 100. percent Yeah. I agree with it, but yeah, we we got to work. Something he has out. a website, and I'll I'll post it right right now, at the bottom here. That's so go on there and check out his his inventory. He's got prices on there, but. Super nice guy. Real nice. Don't break in. He lives here. Don't. Nope. Okay. Mm. We just finished up at the car lot. Mm -hmm. Super nice guy. Um, it's by appointment only. So he's yeah. had a lot of break-ins. A lot of people come in here still and stuff. And he will straight chase you off the property. He probably will shoot you. Or just leave you here and bury you out back. So I suggest not coming here and messing with any of his things. Because, like I said, he's a super nice guy. He's got a ton of cool stuff just everywhere. All sorts of different kind of cars and trucks yep. and stuff on tracks and lifted vehicles. Like, and, and the pricing is not no. off. It's not off for what he's got. Like you can, there's like that, that like pig pen. 15 for that truck is worth it. Yeah. You know, that's I mean, a nice truck. He said that it was nice truck. His somebody in his family had it and was literally driving it, pushing it out of the way for the street sweeper. And it had a head gasket problem, and literally he bought it. And it the door shut good. It's a rust-free oh, truck. Yeah, Zero rust. So you can buy. If you're ever looking for one of those trucks, you will not find one with like like as solid as that. Like I said, is there's no rust at all. So which That's is pretty pretty incredible. Here, right? Yeah. Like our stuff would have been totally chewed up by now. For sure. So you're looking at the van, the Baja, and the Mercedes yeah, that was he's over got here. Yeah, an '82 Mercedes two door over there that I wouldn't even mind having. These. You know, I'm an '80s head, so I could see you driving that. Yeah, I could. I would drive it. Like, there's a lot of. Of course, I went straight to all the tri fives. He's got a really nice '55 two door sedan in the back. It's got air conditioning, fender well headers, overdrive. <laughs> it's a it's a cruiser. It's for sale. He's got a '55 what two door wagon um, sedan delivery yeah. over here with a blown small block in it. It's for sale. Um, he's got a 55, he's got a two, he's got a 55 sedan out back, it's tubbed, roll cage. That you're looking at. That I'm looking at. And then uh, he's got two 57 Chevrolets sitting right here. One sedan, one hard top, both very nice cars. So like I said, he's got a hell of a collection, so. Stay tuned. Yeah. You never know what the hell we're gonna end up with. <laughs> nope. But nope. when we do, you no, guys no. will see it. <laughs> See ya.